Hi everybody, it is August 24, 2019. I'm going to let you listen to a few minutes of Dr. Martin Paul. This is an interview with Dr. Martin Paul and he is relating some information that everybody, everybody needs to, uh, it's gotta be circulated guys on 5G in particular. Then I'm going to let you see this Wall Street Journal article that I just saw on Drudge Report, which, well, upsets me greatly at how mainstream media, the conspiracy theories, are we tired of that yet? I guess not. They just keep rolling it out, right? But then, I am going to show you that our mainstream media, so-called investigative journalists, are bought and sold, or they're just morons, and they just don't do the job that's very easy to do, because, wow, so much information is readily available to anybody that seeks it on this internet of ours. The internet could have been great, it really, you know, it provides us with a whole new way of learning, of, of seeking the truth and getting it, you know. Unfortunately, now it's harder to seek, okay, but it's still available. And yet, the masses, they just want to have fun on, you know, uh, that song. I just want to have fun. Then. Girls just want to have fun. I, I'm I, look. We now are existing in an environment that is killing us, due to the poisons, due to the toxins, due to these electromagnetic frequencies. And uh, before I start, I want to give you an update. An update. The neighbor that I spoke of in my video that I posted last night. Um, never have I seen her the way I saw her today. Okay. She comes and drops off a few cans of cat food, telling me that they were on sale. She looked horrible. She looked very out of it. She looked exhausted. And then said that she had to go back to Target that's where she was shopping because she forgot her groceries. What do I hear? I don't know what I'm doing. I left my, I said, so you, you only remembered these few cans of cat food and forgot your groceries? She just, you know, kind of put up her hands then she checked her car, went into the trunk of her car. There were her groceries. She told me that she called someone at Target. And Target, she said the lady at Target, sounded like, you know, she thought she was nuts. She said for the past four or five days, she has been feeling awful. She looks drugged. I then said that she might want to consider grounding that internet access with an ethernet cord. Now she is constantly on her cell phone. I see her come home and she's on her cell phone in her car. She'll sit there for a while talking and then she'll get out. She's still talking. She goes right to the door. She's still talking on that cell phone. She comes out of her apartment. She's talking on the cell phone. And whenever I see her, it's always that cell phone. She has deteriorated in like four or five days. What did she say to my asking her to, you know, consider grounding that internet? Not much. 
not much. I have, uh, what I hear from people, it's truly remarkable. You know, one neighbor is constantly talking about the symptoms that she experiences a couple of days ago. I listened to her. She goes to Walmart very, very early in the morning. And she said when she got back, she couldn't even put her grocery, groceries away. She just hit the bed. She felt absolutely awful. Didn't know what it was. But it, it, she said she just didn't feel well. And literally couldn't function. She was in bed all day. She never feels well. I hear from my neighbor on one side, exhausted, 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 exhausted. The other neighbor on the other side now, exhausted. The neighbor who's sitting in her Wi-Fi, exhausted all the time, has no energy. But I thought it was interesting that this woman who just got the Wi-Fi is I hear her say, I, I don't know what I'm doing. And that's how I'm feeling a lot of the time. Okay. We have crossed that danger line a long time ago. The cumulative effect is, is revealing itself. Listen to Martin Paul. Uh, and uh, with regard to 5G, as we said before, there are gigantic 5G effects near the surface of the body, uh, but there are also effects that go very, very deeply in the body. And But nevertheless, these surface effects are important. And so what the consequences of that is, is that organisms which uh, have much, much higher surface uh, exposure relative to their volume are going to be much more sensitive to 5G effects. And, uh, and so I expect that almost all organisms, you know, plants and animals are going to be more affected than we will, and we will be highly affected. Uh, so I expect that, you know, that the ecological impacts will be absolutely stunning and, uh, and of a sort that we can barely imagine at this point. But um, the reason I think, you know, plants, even large trees, have their leaves and their reproductive organs highly exposed. So I think they're going to be highly, highly uh, impacted. And the same thing goes for insects and small birds and mammals, which which uh, will be highly impacted. Uh, interestingly, there was a uh, a patent that was taken out to use uh, millimeter waves as an insecticide <laughs> because you could kill insects really easily with millimeter waves. So there is some evidence, in fact, that, that the insects are very very sensitive to these millimeter waves. And again, 5G because of the extraordinary level of pulsation will be vastly more dangerous to the insects and to, uh, you know, small birds and mammals and that, I think, uh, um, so I'm expecting massive ecological impacts of this. And uh, one of the things I'm specifically expecting, that has to do with the impact on plants, because EMFs in plants uh, makes the plants uh, produce much higher levels of highly volatile and highly flammable terpenes. You can get like hundredfold increases in these uh, terpenes, and uh, and so they become highly flammable. I mean, it's like spraying them with light spray of gasoline. Uh, and I think a lot of the problems with the California fires, in fact, have been caused by this, uh, by by the EMFs, and uh, that takes a longer argument than just just mentioning it. But. I will link to everything below. You might want to click on this link and listen to what he has to say. Now, they don't talk too much about the fires. Very interesting, though, isn't it? Think about all of the toxic chemicals and heavy metals that they are spraying that, well, spraying into the atmosphere, it comes down, sits on the plants, sits on uh, the foliage. Highly flammable is aluminum, barium, 
and a lot of the other chemicals and, and heavy metals. Then think about the electromagnetic frequencies. Voila, you've got massive fires that rage out of control. This environment that has manifested is incredibly dangerous to all life, but a whole lot of people just don't seem to care. Well, I was listening to Dr. Martin Paul talk about the dangers, 5G, and then I come across this article. Cities are saying no to 5G, citing health, aesthetics, and FCC bullying. And I thought, wow, Wall Street Journal. They might even uh, post an article, perhaps about the health effects of 5G? No, no, no. Jack Tibbetts, a member of the Santa Rosa, California City Council, knew he had a problem. It was early 2018 and he'd started getting calls from constituents at opposite ends of the political spectrum, the common thread, cellular antennas, going up next to their homes, causing concerns over property values and health. The weight of evidence suggests that if radio frequency emissions have any effect on humans at all, according to the World Health Organization, about on par with other possibly carcinogenic substances, including coffee and pickles. Our fabulous mainstream media investigative journalists, Christopher Mims. Yeah, you have to wonder, is this a real person? Because we have an awful lot of articles coming out that mainstream media articles that are computer generated. If this is a real person, this guy is, uh, he should be fired. He should be fired. Because this article so misinforms and falsifies truth. And, well, these investigative journalists, they're supposed to be informing you of the truth so that you can make decisions. They don't do that. They lie. Money, money, money. Oh, Christopher, you probably have a, a comfortable life. But how dare you write this crap? Federal Communications Commission citing input from the Food and Drug Administration, recently declared that existing limits on the amount of radio frequency energy these antennas put out make them self safe. Um, we've got experts up the wazoo who have said the FCC has not changed their standards since what, 1994? or 96, I can't remember the exact year, never changed their standards. Has this, has this world changed a bit since, let's say, 94, 96, 2019? Did we have the saturation of these electromagnetic frequencies, the microwaves, this microwave radiation back in 94? No, but they've never changed their standards. This guy, is a lying, despicable piece of shit. I'm sorry for cursing, but that's what these people are. They disgust me. And you know, they're, because of the majority of Americans, they loving their dumbed down status, their dumbed down condition, they put these people, they regard them as successful. Yeah, they're really intelligent. While they lie to you repeatedly. You know, uh, that makes our environment really dangerous as well. Food and Drug Administration, FCC, 
all bought, bought, <laughs> bought, bought and sold. They do what industries want them to do. Food and Drug Administration, the amount of drugs that they approve as safe that are killing people, destroying people's lives, and this guy cites them as the, well, those are the agencies that we must listen to. The agencies that are killing us, we must listen to. My God. Food and Drug Administration recently declared, yeah, the limits are safe when they're not. A senior FCC official said, there is nothing unique to 5G networks that poses additional health risks. Wow. Well, I'm going to show you some, but we've got a whole lot of renowned scientists, doctors, researchers that have said the exact opposite, 5G. Well, you just heard Dr. Martin Paul. The ecological effects of 5G are unimaginable. But what we know, what we know is we're going to see an awful lot of death. Okay. Here we go. None of this has stopped the social media fueled conspiracy world world jig that allows health scares to thrive on the internet. You disgusting, despicable piece of crap of a human being. Conspiracy theories. Yeah, okay, uh, let's see. We've got, this was 2010, 2010, in Gentleman's Quarterly. Warning, your cell phone may be hazardous to your health. We've had mainstream media. Years ago, they were publishing articles on the dangers of these microwave frequencies from cell phones. They were reporting on it years ago. Now, mm, not so much. So I guess this, yeah, I, I have, I don't know, these words that a whole lot of people don't like to hear coming into my mind directed at this guy. Gentlemen's Quarterly, 2010. And I will link below to everything. Uh, Europe's premier research institutions of cell phone and PDA use being linked to brain aging, brain damage, early onset Alzheimer's, senility, DNA damage, sperm die off, Many men, after all, keep their cell phones in their pants pocket or attached to the hip. In September 2007, the European Union's environmental watchdog, the European Environment Agency, warned that cell phone technology could lead to a health crisis similar to those caused by asbestos, smoking, lead in petrol. Preliminary results of the multinational Interphone study sponsored by the International Agency for Research on Cancer in Lyon, France. Scientists from 13 countries took part in the study. The United States, conspicuously not among them. Interphone researchers reported in 2008 that after a decade of cell phone use, the chance of getting a brain tumor, specifically on the side of the head, where you use the phone goes up as much as 40% in adults, young children who are still, uh, their bodies still developing, their brains still developing, their skulls softer than the adult skull. Wow, we have an increase in children. 
getting brain cancer. And we have an exponential increase in brain tumors. Can I remember posting a video on Kafka Winston World, how the Canadian government was hiding the increase in brain tumors in their population. Okay, so Interphone researchers in Israel have found that cell phones can cause tumors of the parotid gland, the salivary gland in the cheek. An independent study in Sweden uh, in uh, 2009 concluded that people who started using a cell phone before the age of 20 were five times as likely to develop a brain tumor. Another interphone study reported a nearly 300% increased risk of acoustic neuroma, a tumor of the acoustic nerve. Lewis uh, Slelson, Slelson, God, I, I'm, well, yeah, I've got my own cognitive problems. Um, a doctorate in environmental policy from MIT in 1980 found, founded an investigative newsletter called Microwave News, said this, no one in this country, the United States, cared. No one cared. He said of his findings, it wasn't news. Uh, he suggested that much of the comfort of our modern lives depends on not caring or refusing to recognize the dangers of microwave radiation. We love our cell phones. The paradigm that there's no danger here is part of a world view that had to be put into place. Americans are not asking the questions, maybe because they don't want the answers. All I said to my neighbor is she might want to consider getting rid of the Wi-Fi because all of the symptoms that she had just told me that she was experiencing for four or five days is related to the microwaves, the microwave radiation of Wi-Fi. And, well, she kind of shrugged off that idea. Don't care. Well, they all affect us. You know, it's the ripple effect of the individual in the aggregate behaving in ways that is so outrageously wrong, immoral, uh, not caring, not only about their own health, but anybody else. And yeah, you, Christopher Mims, well, you are at the top of the list for August 24, 2019. I guess Christopher Mims just didn't know about the thousands upon thousands of studies out there that show adverse effects. Uh, studies coming from our US military and studies coming from the experts, renowned, highly respected, that never seem to get on mainstream media to talk about these adverse effects. But I guess you, as an investigative reporter for the Wall Street Journal, just couldn't come up with any of those studies. No, it's the social media-fueled conspiracies, the health scares. What did our U.S. Navy find out in 1971? It's a bibliography of reported biological phenomena. Clinical manifestations attributed to microwave and radio frequency radiation, more than 2,000 references on the biological responses. Two, that those frequencies from your cell phone, the frequencies from cell towers, the frequencies from Wi-Fi and smart meters and electronic gadgets. It's the non-ionizing radiation. So we listen to the FCC, government officials, mainstream media, 
uh, they, having heard from the telecommunications industry, those studies funded by the telecommunications industry, and those independent scientists, you got to check them out because there's an awful lot of so-called independent scientists putting out studies claiming there are no adverse effects when you check out the authors of those studies. They have ties to the telecommunications industry and they're getting money from that industry. Yes, most on this planet are bought and sold. Americans in particular because we are exceptional. We value money. That's it. On the whole, on the whole, our population values money over everything. It trumps everything. On the whole means a majority. And the majority rules. The majority manifests the reality of one's society. Why are we so messed up here in this country? Because the majority rules. The well-adjusted to a deeply disturbed society means they are deeply disturbed. You want to hear some of these effects? This research report, Naval Medical Research Institute, National Naval Medical Center, and he, Christopher, couldn't come up with this. It is outrageous how these people lie and how Americans love the lie and they continue to listen because they love their comfort more than their own health, more than their children's health, more than their neighbor's health, more than their friend's health. What are some of these adverse effects that our military knows about because it's not just the Navy. Oh, every branch of our military has done studies and they know what the effects are. Chapter one, biological phenomena, clinical manifestations attributed to Wi-Fi, your cell phones, and all the other gadgets emitting dangerous microwave radiation heating of organs whole body hyperpyrexia skin bone bone marrow lens of eye cataracts and 5g well that's going to lead to a cataract explosion like we have never seen corneal damage uh the brain sinuses uh, you got men metal implants in your body? Microwaves heat them up. Changes in physiologic function. Altered sensitivity to drug stimuli. Decreased fertility to sterility. The cumulative effect. Altered fetal development. Ah, how many pregnant women have on their bellies a laptop, a cell phone, altered renal function, altered blood flow rate. I just highlighted a few. You can click on the link and read all about it. Alterations in sensitivity to light, sound, olfactory stimuli, chemical sensitivity. You got that? You're more prone to being hypersensitive to the frequencies. Functional pathological changes in the eyes, altered color recognition, lens op opacity, um, not so clear, hemorrhage in lungs, liver, gut, brain, at fatal levels, generalized degeneration of all body tissue, death, dehydration, central nervous system effects, headaches, insomnia, restlessness, seizures, convulsions, autonomic nervous system effects, alteration of heart rhythm, fatigue, structural alterations in the synapses of the vagus nerve, stimulation of parasympathetic
sympathetic nervous system and inhibition, inhibition of sympathetic nervous system. Uh, I, I sometimes hear myself pronounce things and I'm not even sure if I've <laughs> pronounced them correctly and if I haven't, I apologize. A peripheral nervous system effects, effects of locomotor nerves, psychological disorders, general bad feeling, depression, impotence, anxiety, lack of concentration, hypochondria, dizziness, hallucinations, sleeplessness, insomnia, increased irritability, decreased appetite, loss of memory, scalp sensations, increased fatigability, uh, chest pain, tremor of the hands, behavioral changes, blood disorders, blood and bone marrow, marrow disorders, vascular disorders, hypertension, enzyme and other biochemical changes, alteration in rate of cell division, metabolic disorders, gastrointestinal disorders, endocrine gland changes, histological changes, genetic and chromosomal changes, miscellaneous effects, sparking between dental fillings. You get a sudden sharp pain in your teeth, a peculiar metallic taste in mouth, loss of hair. Ah, oh, that was another just a couple of days ago talking to a neighbor who sits in that Wi-Fi, who never feels well, who a couple of days ago I believe got that induced non-flu flu. That's what she was describing. Chronic physical pain, a lot of medical issues, and just the other day she was telling me she's losing her hair. I said, well, that is one of uh, the effects of Wi-Fi. You might want to get rid of Wi-Fi. She ignores me. Brittleness of hair. Wow, my hair has changed an awful lot. Sensations of buzzing, vibrations, pulsations, ticking about the head and ears, copious pers perspiration, salivation, changes in the operation of implanted cardiac pacemakers, changes in circadian rhythm. Just a few. And you can download the PDF. It's a lot of pages. A whole lot of pages. You know, the other thing that I want to, well, I'm not even sure what to point out, you know, I, I almost feel like I want to do just this live stream 24-7, maybe do a uh, starvation, you know, thing. Well, uh, uh, you know, it, it's kind of like nothing gets through to Americans at all anymore. And uh, so many people feel like they're dying. Well, maybe I should just do 24-7 live stream of me on a, uh, I can't even think of what they call it, starvation. Wow. All right. Well, you know what I'm talking about. Um, do something different because I can't stand doing the same old, same old. And I guess these mainstream media reporters are absolutely fine doing the same old, same old because they live really fabulous lives, you know, with their paychecks. They can keep lying and lying. Oh, conspiracy theorists, conspiracy theories, on and on. It's like, could you, like, get off it already? No, we're just going to keep that going. Because, yeah, we know Americans are dumbed down. And we know that Americans love their lies. So we can just keep claiming that it's the conspiracy theorists that are talking about these health effects. When it's our military, when it's so many, so many, man. Bio Initiative 2012. They've updated it now, 2014, 2017, and 2019. Take a look at 
uh, Henry Lay's research summaries and when you click on this when you go to these abstracts pages and pages and pages and pages of studies showing adverse effects you now I uh, here these are uh, his summaries updated 2019 2019 and the research summary from 1990 to 2017 I did click on the 2019 you want to know how long the abstracts go on forever they go on forever all of these studies proving adverse effects biological effects psychological effects um, neurological effects physiological epidemiology uh, uh, logical effects and it the, the, you want to well, you're just outside the page here. Let me uh, can you see all of those studies that I've just scrolled down? Here is the scroll. Here's the end of the page, the end of all of the abstracts. Yeah, yeah, it, it's just social media fueled conspiracies social media fueled conspiracies yeah there's no no studies out there showing adverse effects here they are that's how far I got page 17 here we go one hundred and twenty five pages of abstracts and here's another 2019 document Dr. Henry Lay an expert in non-ionizing radiation and professor at the School of Medicine and College of Engineering at the University of Washington Seattle announced in 1998 that low-level microwave radiation can split DNA molecules in the brains of mice. Splitting DNA molecules in the brain is associated with Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, cancer, all of which are exponentially increasing Alzheimer's or dementia early onset now. Uh, the cellular telephone industry supported Dr. Lay's research grant but suppressed the report's publication. This is the millimeter, the heat ray, Air Force Research Laboratory. It's an anti-personnel millimeter band heat ray intended for use on battlefields or against hostile crowds. 5G is the lockdown. 5G. Oh, do you think our governments in all of our countries, do you think our militaries love you? They love you so much that they want to give you faster download speed. Really? Are you that naive? Are you that childlike? System radiates. So those cells, the 5G cells, they radiate a two second burst at 95 gigahertz, 3.16 millimeter wavelength that can heat the skin to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Officials claim the energy only penetrates the top 1 64th inch of the skin and it's not harmful to internal organs. No mention about the eyes. The eyes. Uh, Possible countermeasures include shielding the energy using very thick clothing, clothing, a metallic sheet such as aluminum foil or a metal trash can lid, but the eyes? Acute ocular injuries caused by 60 gigahertz millimeter wave exposure. Cataracts. Almost every study includes cataracts the eyes and you guys your testes 
testicles, eyes, and testicles, the most sensitive to these microwaves, 5G, you better, I don't know, wear a jock strap 24-7. Um, okay, Devra Lee Davis, you can read all about who this woman is, Dr. Davis. Uh, she founded this site, Environmental Health Trust, 2007. Her, I, I mean, I, I often wonder how one person can do so much. Read her credentials. This is no lightweight, no lightweight, right here. And she has been coming out strong, not just about 5G, but 4G as well. And um, Environmental Health Trust, what you need to know about 5G wireless and small cells, we recommend a moratorium on the rollout of the fifth generation 5G for telecommunication until potential hazards for human health and the environment have been fully investigated by scientists independent from industry. Radio frequency, electromagnetic frequency has been proven to be harmful for humans and the environment. 2017 5G scientific appeal signed by more than 200 scientists, doctors, and doctors from 35 countries. And you can read, the radiation from small cells is not small. Millions of small cells to be built in front yards. 5G will add to non, uh, to, and, and not replace our current wireless technology. Oh, but listen to this guy. Listen to Christopher, who got his information from the Federal Communications Commission, the Food and Drug Administration, that says 5G networks pose no additional health risks. Health. And, uh, we have an epidemic already. Americans have become a sick diseased population. 5G is going to explode that illness and disease. It's very hard for me to do these short videos, but that's not all. Not all. So click on the link below. Community authority is overruled. Scientists worldwide are calling for an, a halt to the 5G rollout. And on and on. On this site, so many studies, especially regarding 5G, the effects of 5G. And yes, 5G frequencies are used as weapons. National Toxicology Program. You know what? What is so friggin' outrageous is that the National Toxicology Project that just released its findings not too long ago, mainstream media is not reporting on that. Our government just released findings showing, well, a whole lot of adverse effects, but that microwave radiation is cancerous. And this is what is posted in the Wall Street Journal. Is it not infuriating to you? Because it sure is to me. Clear evidence of cancer and DNA damage. The U.S. National Toxicology Program study that was their findings and oh it's just a conspiracy theory damage to human blood adverse effects impacts on birds and bees so much information on the site so much but dr neil cherry uh actual and potential effects of extremely low frequencies and 
radio frequencies, microwave radiation, on enhancing violence and homicide, accelerating aging, aging of humans, animals, plants, cells. Dr. Neil Cherry, you can check out his published papers and article, Melatonin, reduced by Wi-Fi and cell phones, microwave radiation. Why do we have now an explosion of people suffering insomnia, not sleeping well? Because your melatonin, necessary in that brain of yours to sleep well, is being reduced. And here are his published studies. Here are his published articles. And Biological Effects of Radio Frequency Electromagnetic Field, Henry Lay. And an update on neurological effects of non-ionizing electromagnetic fields. We always hear from the industry. If it doesn't heat your body up, it's safe. Well, what about that non-ionizing field? Non-ionizing. No heating necessary. You don't hear that. Well, countless studies proving non-ionizing radiation causes numerous adverse health effects. What are we going to do? So many of us feel like we're dying. Are we really? Is this really what life has become here? This is it? Now we just watch the, the full-out destruction and feel it and get destroyed ourselves? Really? These people rule the day? Christopher Mims? Industry rules the day? Apparently so. Why? Because our number one enemy is our fellow Americans who don't give a shit about anything. Can they be brought around to care? Well, <laughs> you let me know if you've been able to reach people. The lack of care. This, this, the, the, these human beings walking among us who love to live a delusion, living in Disneyland, childlike adults, adults who are children. Oh, don't bring me that scary stuff. I, want, I don't want to hear it. That's what I got from my friends who are older than I am. Oh, well, you know, they would never do that to us. Our government, those agencies, they're there to protect us. Could you get out of your simple brain, please? Because we're being destroyed by our government agencies? I want to point out one quick thing in this article. It is said Mr. Tibbetts, as well as countless mayors, governors, and council members across the country, have little or no power under current rules to act on their constituents' wishes. Nor do they have the leeway they once did to set pricing for cell sites, a lucrative source of funding for civic initiatives. Those who do take action are creating ordinances that put their cities at risk of being sued by the telecoms as happened in Rochester, New York. Uh, yeah, we had Trump signing an executive off, uh, order. He withdrew us from the TPP, that transatlantic Pacific Partnership, Trans-Pacific Partnership, 
so many of us posting, finding out that the Trans-Pacific Partnership allows corporations to sue countries, uh, giving corporations power over sovereign nations. And the Trump supporters are like, yay, he got us out of the Trans-Pacific Sea Carol. He's real. He pulled us out of TPP. You love watching the pomp and circumstance and listening to the lies. You've got to dig into what is actually happening. What is actually happening here? The TPP is going on. Corporations are more powerful than sovereign nations. That this few sentences right here are telling you that TPP is going on. It's happening. And Trump pulls us out of the TPP, but he's been gung-ho. Telecommunications industry? Of course they can put cells anywhere. And he's behind the 5G rollout. And he also stated this is a national security uh, interest. So please, Trump supporters, you know, well, he pulled us out of the Paris Agreement. Did he really? Did he? Did he really? Really? Ah, he's so great. And so 407 mayors and many governors sign on to the Paris uh, Agreement. You're not getting that he's He's just telling you what you want to hear. But it's all unfolding anyway. Whoever got to the end, thank you for watching. Uh, look, you know, I can't believe that this is what life has become. I, I, I'm, I'm stunned.